This is Optimal Relationships Daily, episode 636, Rejection, by Adi Redzik of AdiRedzik.com. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another Monday here on ORD. I am Greg Audino, and this is the show that helps you optimize all the different relationships in your life. We're always adding new authors and content, so remember to hit subscribe or follow in your podcast app to be notified of new episodes. There won't be any shortage, I promise you that much. (laughs) Today, I am featuring a post on that horrible, icky feeling known as rejection. None of us want to go through it, but Adi is here to tell you how to make the most of it. What do you know? So, let's hear what he has to say and start optimizing your life. Rejection by Adi Redzik of AdiRedzik.com I get kicked in the teeth a lot. Some days it feels like someone is punching me in the face. Rejection is not pleasant. I keep asking myself, okay, what's the lesson behind this? How do I get better because of it? I keep telling myself, you've been here before, just keep pushing. Then, on those especially intense days, or months, or years, it's a perfect storm. It rains from all sides. Lovers, friends, family, clients, service providers. One big fat no. No more, they say. I'm sure you've been there before. You got fired on a whim. What? My last performance review was excellent. A funder changes their mind and you're left hanging. But they claim this was the best, most worthwhile investment in a long time. A lover, who just a minute ago told you you're ideal and you were making plans for next year, is no longer interested, and you had just started to feel relaxed and trusting. It burns. It's heartbreaking. Clients decide they don't need your service or product anymore. You're left confused. But you just told me this XYZ thing changed your life. You even said, and I quote, this was exactly what I needed. A friend ghosts you. But that friend just called you their BFF. How the hell does this happen? It usually sounds something like, you're amazing, but it's that but that always gives me a pause. It's that but that I question. How can someone be amazing and yet you don't want them or whatever they have to offer? Obviously, some people say whatever they need to say to make themselves feel better. People also often know they need or want something, but accepting this means they have to be different, even vulnerable. They have to let go and let themselves grow. They have to risk. They have to invest. And that seems too hard sometimes. For example, a lover who was so into you realized they might get hurt, or that being into you would mean they have to grow up and step it up. What if doing so kills their whole illusion of themselves and the world? It's better to run, clearly. Or a client thinks they should manage their own fill-in-the-blank because they cannot let go of control. They struggle to trust. They quickly forget why they connected to you in the first place. A lover was looking exactly for someone like you to help them get to that next level of living, belonging, and partnership. A client knows they need your service so they can scale, lead better, and pursue their vision. But they convince themselves that even though you are amazing, it just isn't good enough. Something is off. You know what's off? This is the biggest lesson about rejection ever. It's not about me. Whenever someone rejects me, it's not about me. Whenever someone rejects you, it's not about you. Of course, we internalize it all. It hurts. But people's inability to recognize your value has nothing to do with you. People reject because of their own reality. It's usually fear, confusion, confirmation bias, or cognitive dissonance. They're not ready, or it seems easier. I get a lot of, why do I need a coach or leadership trainer when I slash we can do it myself slash ourselves? My usual response is, for the same reason I need a hairstylist. Can you imagine me cutting my own hair? I can't. I won't get into the romantic or friendship rejections I received. Those are something extra. I'm sure you have stories of your own, but I'll say it again. People reject because of their own reality, and often because they can't come to terms with what reality actually is. Is any of this a good excuse? Of course not. Should they take a hard, long look in the mirror and get real in order to understand the true potential? Of course. 
Will they? Probably not. Some might, and those who do will actually benefit greatly. The topic of rejection is vast and complex. Yes, in theory there are many nuances, like our relationship wasn't working for a while, or I got what I needed from your services, or I found a better investment. The thing is, that is not a rejection. Sometimes you just know you've come to the end of the rope, but actual rejection is different. It also hurts differently. It is only a rejection when you know realistically and demonstrably there was more to it. There could have been more to it, that perhaps you needed each other, but one side pulled away. How do we know something is realistic and demonstrable? The answer lies in the truth people spoke when they felt good because of whatever you were giving them and they weren't marred by fear, i.e. best investment, best partner, best service, etc. Why in the world would you go to a hairstylist if you didn't want and need a haircut? Alas, as much as it hurts, rejection is a human condition in which everyone loses. So, perhaps, the bigger question is, how do we deal with rejection? We lick our wounds. We remember that it is not about us, because the truth is, we're amazing. We remind ourselves that the other side is the one who is actually missing out. I realize you might not feel that way when you need a cash inflow, are scrambling to get things done, or feel lonely and abandoned. And of course, we are missing out too on what could have been a terrific shared experience. We trust that what is meant for us will be there, and what isn't, won't. Fates can be fickle like that. We get up, dust ourselves off, and march forward. We live to fight another day. If you've been rejected recently, whether in small matters or in something bigger, Remember that you're not alone. I heard once that every candle that gets lit in the dark room must feel a little rejection from the darkness around it. Rejection is often a nudge towards something, or someone better. So keep shining. You just listened to the post titled Rejection by Adi Redzik of AdiRedzik.com. Thank you so much to Adi for sharing his insight. Although it goes without saying that there may always be ways we can improve ourselves, our services, or what have you, we mustn't obsess over this. We mustn't forget about the other side of the equation, and that is, whatever it is that others are going through that prevents them from making certain decisions we might prefer them to make. Adi sums this up nicely by reminding us that these things often have nothing to do with us, and that in many ways, we are likely fine just the way we are. How about that? And with that, let's go ahead and wrap things up for today. You won't want to miss tomorrow's episode, which discusses choosing joy over making comparisons. Ooh, sounds like a good choice to me. We'll see just how simple it is, though. See you again here on Optimal Relationships Daily tomorrow with that post, where your optimal life awaits. Hello, Life Optimizer. This is Justin Mollick, creator and producer of this podcast, but also Optimal Living Daily, the show where I read to you from even more blogs covering finance, productivity, minimalism, personal development, and more from incredible bloggers like Derek Sivers, Zen Habits, Mark and Angel, The Minimalists, and all the ones you hear on this show too. So if you enjoyed today's episode and like taking amazing blogs on the go, come on over to Optimal Living Daily and subscribe to that one too. And together, we'll start optimizing your life. You've been listening to Optimal Living Daily. Be sure to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date on each new episode and head to oldpodcast.com. That's oldpodcast.com for a free gift as well as more actionable tips and resources to help you maximize your potential. Thanks for joining us. And remember, your optimal life awaits.